You ever just record, like, the perfect take of recording for something and then realize that your microphone wasn't plugged in? Yeah, that's me, so if I sound a little angry and annoyed in this, that's mostly why. So today we're going to be talking about exactly what the title of this video says. This introduction is totally redundant. Let's get started. So if you haven't noticed, many white voice actors and actresses are dropping their roles as playing cartoon characters who aren't of the same race as them. This all started basically from Jenny Slate, who announced on her Instagram that she is refusing to play the character Missy on the excellent TV show Big Mouth because she is a white voice actress and Missy is black. And she just goes on saying that it's racist to depict someone that isn't of the same race as you. And I don't understand. She doesn't really explain her thought process, but she just says that it's uh, unjust allowances made within a system of societal white supremacy. And that me playing Missy, I was engaging in an act of erasure of black people. That's just all she talks about. And she's just all, this is all just fucking idiocy. And, you know, that's her prerogative to quit it if she believes it's racist. But her reasoning for it isn't really explained all that well. And I just don't get it. But that's her decision. It's not like she was fired. That'd be an entirely different discussion. But all I'm saying is that she doesn't explain her reasoning very well. So it's hard for me to even refute this and explain why it's not necessary. So I might as well just say it. Your race does not indicate your talent. Your race does not make you more or less qualified to play a character. It should be your talent and your qualification for it. Alison Brie is another person who's saying, I regret voicing Diane on BoJack Horseman. Even though personally, I think Alison Brie did a great job and I didn't even know that she wasn't Asian American. And that just shows how irrelevant it is for the actor to be of the same race as the character they're playing. Because I think Diane was a great representation of Asian Americans. And I think Diane was a great character regardless of whether or not she was Asian American. It was only really talked about like a little bit in the show because it wasn't an important aspect of her. Your race is not very relevant to who you are as a person. So I don't get why it should be for the actor to match the race of the character they're playing if it's so irrelevant. Going back to the original circumstance, it's not like Missy was a racist depiction of black characters either. If Jenny Slate was getting behind the microphone every day and saying something like, Yo, Big P, what up? Oh, dribble, dribble, basketball, chicken sandwich, eating mo, wo, wo, watermelon. See, that's racist. <laughs> but she was just a typical black character, and her race was completely irrelevant to who she was. Therefore, the race should be completely irrelevant to what the actor is. And, I'm sorry to say, but this has started a bit of a chain reaction now. Just a couple days later, the shortest show on television that hasn't completely overstayed its welcome, The Simpsons, recently announced that they will not allow voice actors and actresses to play characters that don't match their race. Why? Because <laughs> first of all, that's way more racist than just letting anybody play any role in any character because it's adding more emphasis on the race of the actor and it's actually barring people of certain races from having certain jobs and certain roles. Let me say some examples of where the opposite case of this happened. Phil Lamar is a black man and he depicts a Japanese man on Samurai Jack. And I think that is completely irrelevant to his performance because I think Phil Lamar did an excellent job depicting Samurai Jack. And another thing you have to realize is that unless you actually research it, you can't tell what race the actor is. So what does it matter if they're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, etc.? And you can't even tell when they're just depicting a character. And another unfortunate side effect that I know nobody meant by this is... Tying this with Black Lives Matter. Notice at the end how she says that this is for Black Lives Matter. Th that is incredibly fucking insulting that you would compare fucking quitting a TV show to an actual discussion that is trying to get real good done. I think that's incredibly offensive and incredibly stupid because it actually draws attention away from the real good that Black Lives Matter is trying to accomplish with reforming the police and trying to get new guidelines put in and shit like that 
and trying to take care of these fucking pigs that are going and plowing down people in the streets to quitting a goddamn cartoon character role. Those are two wildly different things, and it is so stupid and so incredibly trivial in comparison to it. You are not a fucking race hero or whatever you want to be known as because you quit playing a normal black character on a TV show and you want to encourage people to be just discriminated and all right black people can only play black roles and white people can only play white roles and Asian people can only play Asian roles that's what you're accomplishing that's what you're trying to do you're taking media attention away from the real good if you look on Twitter by the way at the time of me recording this Nobody's talking about Black Lives Matter anymore and the actual importance that they're trying to accomplish. They're just talking about, uh, uh, Jenny fucking quit the show. Holy shit, dude, did you see this? It's completely, and I mean entirely, it, with no limitations of the word, I mean it is entirely unnecessary and completely trivial in comparison to actual events that are happening and the actual movement that is happening that you are interfering with because you're an idiot who wants to be woke so I'm such a I'm such a hero oh, I'm sorry for all the the hard things that I've been doing I spoke in front of a microphone and then somebody on a computer drew me as a different character God God forgive me I hope I don't get the chair for this I think everything that I'm trying to say here is that it is completely fucking irrelevant what race you are. It does not make you more qualified or less qualified for a job, and it shouldn't even be fucking considered for something like a TV role of a fucking cartoon. It's stupid. It really, really is stupid. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching this all the way to the end. Um, I'll tweet more about this. I'm not going to make a video every time something new comes out because I just don't have that energy. Probably a better YouTuber will. I'll tweet about it for sure. I'll put my Twitter up right here. It's in the link in the description too. And on the About tab if you want to go follow and see my current opinions on it. Now, I'll tweet more about this on my Twitter as it develops. I just wanted to make a quick video to explain to my followers, and hopefully this video gets out a bit and actually convinces some people to think that your race is not important to who you are. It should be your talent and your qualifications in regards to just jobs in general. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, share this with a friend if you think it's important. Like the video if you liked it, and uh... Yeah, Black Lives Matter, all cops are bastards, see you in the next video.